Welcome to the Spirit Spot. My name is Raina Shea, and it is my hope to help guide you into your Spirit Spot, even if just for a few moments out of your day. I want to acknowledge that while it is my intention to encourage you to find a moment of silence as we take three conscious breaths and listen to the reading, this isn't exactly necessary to the experience. We often can find it a challenge to find a quiet space in our day, even for three conscious breaths, which is why I encourage you to do that. I hope you will come to the spirit spot even when you can't make it perfectly. While I enjoy closing my eyes as I take three conscious breaths, you might not be in a place where you feel you can do that. So I invite you to listen to the Spirit Spot, even if the only times you have available to do so might be when you have other things going on, maybe when you're driving or washing dishes. These are actually a couple of times where I feel most connected to God, and maybe you also will find your Spirit Spot in these times. So I will still invite you to set aside whatever you have in front of you and settle into your seat, if you're able to do so at this time. We'll begin with three conscious breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Our touchstone for today is the word illusion. In Vedanta, which is one of the six schools of Hinduism, they speak of maya, a word meaning illusion, and it refers to this material world that we live in and experience. Maya is the illusion that conceals God from us, conceals from us our true nature, and the oneness that is all. And I'm going to share with you three meditations on mortality from Meditations from Conversations with God by Neil Donald Walsh. First, on personal evolution. The soul is very clear that its purpose is evolution. It is not concerned with the achievements of the body or the development of the mind. These are all meaningless to the soul. The soul is also very clear that there is no great tragedy involved in leaving the body. In many ways, the tragedy is being in the body. On transforming yourself, even the rock will not be a rock forever, but only what seems like forever. Before it was a rock, it was something else. It fossilized into that rock through a process taking hundreds of thousands of years. It was once something else and will be something else again. On the illusion of death, see the flower as dying, and you will see the flower sadly. Yet see the flower as part of a whole tree that is changing and will soon bear fruit, and you see the flower's true beauty. When you understand that the blossoming and the falling away 
of the flower is a sign that the tree is ready to bear fruit. Then you understand life. Look at this carefully and you will see that life is its own metaphor. Our touchstone for today is the word illusion. I invite you to pause several times throughout your day for three conscious breaths and reflect on the illusion that we live and face every day. And I invite you to create a great day.